Hey everyone, my name is Alexandra and I am a watercolor artist. Welcome to part seven of Watercolor Wildflowers for Beginners. On one of my recent videos, I got a comment asking for a tutorial on how to paint lavender. So that's what we're gonna paint today. Let's get started. For supplies today, you guys will need two cups of water, one for clean, one for dirty water. I have a napkin for drying my paintbrush. For paintbrushes, I'm using Princeton Rounds, numbers two and eight. Paper, I have 140 pound Arches cold press watercolor paper. And lastly, for paint, I'm using Art Philosophy and Co's Terrain palette. I'm mostly going to be using green, purple, and blue. So if you guys have a combination of any of those colors, then you will be all set to go. For this painting specifically, we are just gonna paint a few branches of lavender. So what I want you guys to do, we're gonna add in more green later, but I want us to just start with sort of a guideline of where we're going to be placing our flowers. So I'm going into my willow tree green, which is the lightest one that I have here. And I'm using my number two paintbrush, and I'm just gonna paint three super light lines that I can use as a guide for where I'm placing my lavender. So I'm doing one kind of straight down the middle. It might be a little tricky to see in the video, but as we go, you guys will see where I'm painting these. And then I'm gonna do one more on either side of that center one sort of staggering them at different heights. So now that we know where our flowers are gonna go, we're gonna start by adding in the petals. For the first layer, I'm using my number eight paintbrush and I'm just gonna mix some of my blue shadow with my purple, just to get a little bit more of a cool purple. I'm doing it relatively watery. I can test it on my napkin just to see what color is coming out. And I might add even a little bit more purple in there to give it some more brightness. And now that I've done that, we're gonna do our first layer. So the idea with this is that we are painting clusters of these little round petals. So they're sort of oval, sort of teardrop shape. For my first layer, because I'm painting it really light, I'm not too concerned with how neat or even it is. But the idea is that each little cluster, or each little sort of oval shape, is going to be pointing towards that center stem. And then if I want, I can overlap some right on top to make it look nice and full. And we're just gonna work our way down following this concept. So as we get further down, we can do more of these little oval shapes and I have them overlapping that center stem. Now this is a flower that's so nice to add to paintings and honestly it's so simple and easy to paint. It truly is the perfect flower for beginners. So I've worked my way down with all of these little oval shapes. They're all facing towards that center stem. And now just to get more practice in, we're going to do the exact same thing on our other two stems. And if it's easier for you guys, you can use a smaller paintbrush for this. I'm using the bigger one now. I'm going to use the smaller one when I'm going on top and adding in more details. And we're just gonna continue with the exact same process for this last one. So I'm starting with that very top oval shape coming down, and then everything else is coming in towards the center around it. Not too picky about how it looks. Now 
Now the paint came out a little bit darker on this last one, so I'm just gonna water it down just a touch because I want to add more of the detail when I'm going in with my second layer. And you guys can see now why I made sure to paint those first strands super light of the stem of the flower just because I'm going directly over top with my color. Okay, so while we let that dry, we're gonna go in now and we're just gonna add to our stem and paint some leaves into our flower. So for lavender, I wanna keep it really delicate. Flowers are gonna be nice and skinny, so I'm using my number two paintbrush and I'm just gonna make a mix of green here. I'm mixing some of my vine leaf green with my balsam. And once I have that at a nice creamy consistency, I'm gonna go back over top of where I already painted my stems, but starting from down lower, not necessarily from the top of my page like I did before. And we're gonna paint those really nice, fine stems coming down. I'm giving a bit of a wave to my line so that they have more of a natural look, but I'm making sure that my pressure is really light with my paintbrush, just so that I don't end up with too thick of a line. So now that I've done that, we'll add some leaves. I'm putting the tip of my paintbrush down and I'm applying pressure as I pull back. And then I'm lifting my paintbrush back up off my page as I near that center stem. So we'll do, I have a bit too much water there, so I'm just gonna pick some of it up. And we'll do the exact same thing, applying pressure as I pull back and then lifting up as I join the leaf with my center stem. And we're just gonna continue this process all the way through. So by doing really thin, sort of wavy leaves, we're just giving this a really nice whimsical look. And I can add as many leaves as I want to each flower. So now that I've done that, we can go in and add some detail to the lavender itself. So I'm mixing together my colors. This time I'm going for a little bit more of a pigmented consistency. It's a little less watery than I had it before. And with my small paintbrush, we're simply going to somewhat overlap where we've already painted. And we're just painting these little oval shapes. And the idea is that we're giving definition to where we've already painted. I'm not necessarily going directly on top of the circles that I've painted before. This way I can make it look really nice and full. And I'm leaving some white space. I don't mind if it varies sort of between a more blue purple and then one with more pink undertones. Often when you look at the flowers, you see that they vary, vary in color in general. So you can see that as I do this, I'm still letting that really light color show through. But by adding the darker purple on top, we just give it some really nice contrast. And you guys definitely, if you wanted, could stop at that first layer. I just like to add the second layer to give it that contrast and really make it stand out. We're gonna do the same thing with the leaves once we're done doing it with the flowers here. Thank you. 
And for some of them, I'm being more particular with how my oval looks. Some I'm sort of just adding the color over top. Not necessarily in a very specific oval shape, but it's just so that it gives what I've already painted some shading. Now you can immediately see how much more flowers stand out. So we're just gonna add a little bit of detail to our leaves so that the contrast matches with the rest of our flower. So I'm going back into my vine leaf green and this time I'm doing it a lot more pigmented, a little closer to a paste consistency. And I'm actually just gonna go into my leaves and paint a very thin vein that's going down the center. I'm gonna follow each stem and we're just adding a little bit more depth of color to our leaves. Just by adding these really simple lines. Again, this step isn't necessary, but it just adds more to your flower. So now the very last thing that we're gonna do is I'm going into my purple smoke color here, which is a lot more of a pink undertoned color and I'm making it nice and watery and we're gonna use a little bit of a glazing technique and just go over portions of our lavender. And the idea is that this is just gonna add more interest to our flower by adding a little bit more variation in color. So I'm not actually fully painting over it. As you can see, I'm just adding little lines into some of the spots just to add that variation in color, but I'm being super careful and intentional because I wanna make sure that I'm still allowing the light purple that I painted in that first layer to really show through. So now that we've added our extra little bit of detail, we are all done with our watercolor lavender. As you guys see, this is such a simple flower to paint and make it look really beautiful. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and followed along. Make sure to like this video, comment below what flower you'd like to learn next, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Lastly, I will remind you guys that I do have a watercolor e-course e that's coming out in September, so feel free to pre-order now and check it out on my website. We'll see you next time.